So, uh, basically, surface water, groundwater, uh, this is what I have in my town. I live near, uh, not too far from West Point Military Academy, and that's what we have here is groundwater. Well, groundwater under the influence of surface water, that would be groundwater, and you have like a stream or something going over the top of it and that type of stuff. Um, not too often, anybody living down in Tampa, Florida, uh, or along the coastline of the United States, uh, you see a lot of desalinated water, uh, which is essentially cleaned up by reverse osmosis. Um, but the, the key takeaway really with this one is that the water source essentially impacts the overall design of the water treatment plant. Um, certain requirements, we'll, we'll touch about, we'll touch out, touch base on that and kind of interweave, interweave that within the, uh, within the, uh, the class tonight. Uh, surface water basically is, uh, you know, your lakes, reservoirs, rivers and streams, uh, surface water basically. What's interesting is that, is that that changes quite a bit. I mean, the um, groundwater sources are pretty constant. Um, well, we, we say that, but they're having problems out in the West Coast <laughs> with their groundwater. Not laughing, but uh, there's a lot of issues with that. But technically, overall, technically, really, uh, it's pretty stable. Okay, surface water is because you got precipitation and evaporation and that type of thing uh, going involved. With it. The other thing too is. Um, uh, we do it soft water because it has low mineral content, high mineral content really is something you'd see on the groundwater uh, sources and that type of thing. So this is what we have, a little schematic of what what's referred to as groundwater under direct influence of surface water. If you didn't have this uh, this river or stream going back, okay, so this water seeps down into the ground and in, into the uh, into the aquifer. Uh, so that's what that means, just an aside of really what it is. Groundwater basically uh, accessed by wells. Um, basically 78% of the water in the, in the United States comes in from uh, uh, groundwater, a uh, very good reliable source to a large extent. <clears throat> and um, certain parts of the country got to be concerned about uh, some chemical contamination, but typically it's, uh, it's a pretty good source because it's kind of a kind of isolated from any contamination typically. So uh, what's known about it too is that is that basically, uh, and, and it's replenished constantly being replenished. The thing about it is that it's really te technically tends to be a higher quality water if you can use uh, groundwater for the source. Again, it's most widely used. Um, and you know, basically because you got less contamination. When we talk about contamination here, what we're primarily talking about is contamination from chemicals and contamination, although you have that in certain parts of the country um, and um, because it's the filtration process, but also in terms of uh, the, the nasty bugs, the cryptosporidium, which comes in from, uh, from warm, uh, warm, warm animals, that type of thing from their, uh, from their feces and stuff like that. So.